My next guests are all big dreamers with big ideas and big mouths. They call themselves Three Loud Women. Now, they're daytime friends that share their personal experiences and industry expertise with their viewers. They like to say that there's no hiding behind their name. You get what you get, and you don't get upset. This morning, they're going to be talking with us about life after divorce. Hi, we are Three Loud Women. I am Allison Thompson also known as Therapy Head. I'm a psychotherapist who believes that therapy can be fun, and I'm here to bring my 20 years of experience to the, the bar today the for uh, Three Loud Women. Hi, I'm Stephanie Goldberg Glazer. I'm Florida Keys Girl. I'm obsessed with all things food, wine, and travel. And I bring these passions to Three Loud Women. And I am Tiana McDonald, also known as the InStyle Diva, and I am loud and proud about style, social media, and motherhood. She is loud That's and right. proud. I have passion, I have loudness, <laughs> I have proudness. We are big dreamers with big ideas and really, really big mouths. Really big mouths. What are we talking about? Today we're at, we are here at Lush Bar in Key West. We are are talking about life after divorce, keeping the crazies away from your kids. Oh. That is our topic. <laughs> so one would say, like, what the heck does that mean, keeping the crazy away from, from the kids? What do you guys think that I that means? I think it means, here, here's what it means to me. I have no recollection of the divorce. And I think that's a good thing. Mm, right. That is parents. a good that's, thing. That's, I have I no idea what happened. did something right. Yeah, no idea yes. until... I got older. I had right. no idea what happened. But you so. knew that they were divorced and they lived separately. He was separately. moving out and, and they lived separate. Right. But the okay. details in it, we had no right. clue. But that's good. Uh, I think they did you a should, phenomenal yeah. job. not know the details. Right. right. It's not your business. Right. Correct. And it only screws things up it right. does. for you. It does. Right. It does. Right. Remember, children are children. Yeah. Okay, and they should be talked about with, uh, you know, children-like types of things. Right. They say that, the, you know, people, people, the, the number one reason why people don't get a divorce is they say they stay together for the Children. Kids. Or the they kids. stay together yep. for the kids. And you see all of these people get a divorce when the kids turn 18 and yep. move out to college. Yep. The thing is, is that children can be fine and well-adjusted in a divorce mm -hmm. as long as the parents keep the conflict down. Which means no bashing the other party in correct, front of the kids. Correct, correct. They say that the number one leading cause of pathology, which in layman's term is craziness, right. um, is, is conflict and high levels of conflict. In the state of Florida, about 28% of the folks in the state of Florida are have high conflict in, in divorce. And this is post-divorce. So this is anywhere from, normally the year after divorce, there's a lot of conflict, there's a lot of adjustment for people. Right. But about a year after, things should calm down. So can I tell you that I love what you said, both of you, about uh, keeping the kids out of it and both parents being responsible, because let me tell you what my mother did. We had no idea, but she would always talk so highly of my father. Absolutely. Even though we know deep down inside she did not no, favor right. him at all. That's okay. She would go send him Father's Day cards and our, right. you know, he would say thank you for the card and we're like, what freaking card? So right. I think, you know, so she parents, did everything she, that did she everything could, everything she could right. because she probably a felt a little that she failed. Right? You do have yeah, those feelings. Yeah. And the fact of the matter is, sh you can still have your father in your life just because he's not living in the home. Absolutely. Um, but she didn't want it to, him to feel, which is women putting, you know, everybody else's feelings first, him to feel like she was bashing right. him. Because immediate, it wasn't a pretty thing mm -hmm. when right. I came to find out when I got older. So I think that it's so, like you guys said, important that the parents take the necessary steps. But she was being such a good mother. She, she was. Because, you know, kids don't need to feel conflicted about their no, parents. No, we had no, you know, it, it was not, no it wasn't like, like a, you know, like I'm pulling his leg and he's leaving the house right. with the suitcase and his right. wife and other ladies in the speed car waiting right. with the, it was, you know, <laughs> with the convertible the glasses. And then she has her glasses, right. she's like, let's go. Right. You know, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, <laughs> awesome. yeah, it wasn't that, you know, it was just, with oh, he's gone. She had the sunglasses, you yeah. know, with the Hamptons look and she's like, are you coming? Yeah, And the kids are like, ah, it wasn't like that. And it rarely is, you know, the parents you have an obligation, not just, oh, you should do this, or maybe you have an obligation to your child to keep them away from the conflict. So, you know, it's you, not their conflict. You know, they you didn't want create to talk the conflict. trash about your ex, talk trash as much as you want. You can't do to it in front friends. of your kids, to your kids, within earshot of your kids, and you also can't let your family members do that either. Right. Because, you know, it's not okay that you're keeping your mouth right. shut, but your mother is saying, that ex husband And that's of yours, what happens. What a piece of trash yeah. he is. You know, that child is made up of, you know, her mom and, and her dad. dad. Right. So they don't need to feel the conflict. So, you know, the best way to keep crazy away from, from the kids is to keep, literally keep mm -hmm. the crazy away from the kids. And don't you think that when you start talking bad about the other person that the kid internalizes of course, it, right? Oh, of course. If I'm half Absolutely. that person, I must 
must be all those things. Absolutely. It's so, so smart. Why don't you get so smart? So what, what, what's a few tips you can give the parents um, Okay. Keep your mouth shut yeah. when your kids are around. Remember, loose lips sink ships. Okay? Oh, I like you that. To, your kids you, know, you don't need to tell loose everyone at the school ships. every detail of the fact that, you know, your ex-husband cheated and he's, he slept with nine women in the bed and blah, blah, blah. The school needs to know that you're divorced. They need to know that your child goes back and forth to two homes. They need to know it. what the two contacts are. Yeah, they need to know are. what the two contacts are. That's, Plus that's, for behavioral right, issues. Right. Issue, behavior so, issue, so it's yeah. not just the school. The school, loose lips sink ships at the school. Loose lips sink ships in neighborhoods. Just at keep your gyms, mouth shut. With your friends, you know, with people that aren't your closest in your closest circle. Um, oh, and, and don't post it on Facebook either. I know. Right. And don't change you know, your status, people. Okay. You know, don't start Just trashing the other person in a public arena because when other families are talking about things over dinner, their kids are overhearing it, and those kids talk to your kids and, and so, by then it's really distorted. And, and it's so embarrassing and it's so bad for them so just loose lips sink ships keep it close keep it close to the back keep it together talk as much trash as you want but without your kids around talk yeah. as much trash as you talk want trash on our facebook we, we have some other trash to be talking so we're yes. going to sign off for today but we will talk some trash again soon don't forget <laughs> to talk trash with us on twitter <laughs> like us on twitter follow us on facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel yeah, we love that trash yeah tag, i know right? i like trash talking yeah. Especially when it comes to your dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>